Uh, good morning students. So today I'm going to start off with the third lesson in your uh, social science text which is called prehistoric society. Alright, so what I want you all to do is please have your textbook in front of you and listen to what I'm teaching and follow word by word. Okay. So in this lesson what we are going to see is we are going to see the difference between the historic period that is the current historic period and the prehistoric pre period what was how the life was earlier okay so we are going to see these two differences and the other thing that we are going to look into this uh, look in this lesson would be the three different stages of prehistoric period okay so we will be learning these are the two important objective in this lesson that you all will have to learn okay uh, i will be starting off from page 59 please follow what i'm reading okay origin of human beings and their development scientists say that the earth was born 4600 million years ago the first living beings appeared on this planet was single celled bacteria called prokaryotes okay so they're saying that 4000 4600 million years ago earth was born that is what the scientists believe the first living being that appeared in the planet was a single organism it is made up of a single cell and the single cell bacteria which was called prokaryotes karyotes okay these bacteria were capable of living in the absence of oxygen they did not see as living beings we need oxygen to breathe if there is no oxygen we cannot live but this particular bacteria used to live with the, with without the absence of oxygen they used to get necessary energy and nutrients from the environment then some 4000 to 2500 million years ago lichen or algae was seen algae is nothing but okay when you uh, that green color layer which is formed on water water surface that is called algae these in the future became the source of evolution of plants and animals so these are the basics so from then onwards it became a source for the evolution evolution is nothing but growth of plants and animals if we consider the world of living beings fossil evidences of the microorganisms as old as 3500 million years have been traced in australia fossils fossil evidences of microorganisms as old as 2000 million years were found in sandur taluk in karnataka in this road of evolution 570 million years ago fishes and other aquatic living beings 438 to 408 million years ago insects 408 to 360 years ago amphibians approximately 320 million years ago reptiles 2248 million million years ago dinosaurs 213 million years ago birds and mammals 75 million years ago a huge mammal and 25 million years ago apes got evolved we know that we are i think in your textbooks you all would have seen how human beings have been evolved from apes correct stone age man and then it came to us 5 million years ago bipeds and 1.8 million years ago human beings got evolved so this is the basic history of how evolution took place so slowly read that entire paragraph you all will be able to understand in this process of evolution first single celled organisms then molluscs then fishes plants insects amphibians flying insects reptiles birds mammals flower bearing plants grass apes and bipeds got involved so in the process these all got in evolved some 1.8 million years ago evolution of human being took place so 1.8 million years ago evolution of human beings that is us took place human beings whose physical features were similar to modern man first appeared in africa so first it appeared in africa it is believed that from there they migrated to various parts of the globe and settled so from africa they migrated they went to different parts of the world at present this theory is subjected to a lot of criticism but there are a lot of um, uh, sayings about this uh, this particular idea okay so in page number 60 uh, there's a chart which is shown uh, which shows how many the years 
like back then in which year what organisms were developed okay you all can read about it it is a clear picture which has been given in the paragraph in page 59 second paragraph is given in a better manner in page 60 okay now next what we are going to see is there are three different stages in the prehistoric period didn't i tell you all that the main objective of this lesson is to know the difference between historic and prehistoric and what are the different ages in the prehistoric period so if we have to classify the three different stages in prehistoric period are of three types all right paleolithic mesolithic and neolithic so these are the three different ages paleolithic mesolithic and neolithic okay now let's see what is the first stage what happened during this age okay paleolithic age this period is the beginning stage it is called as the archaeological state in my first lesson itself i, I would have told you all about archaeology archaeology is nothing but the remains from the past okay from that only we get to know we study about what happened the history about what was happening earlier this period is the beginning stage of human history human beings of this period lived upon fruits edible plants tubers etc so what happened was during back then when the when it wasn't developed when people when the humans were trying to learn they only survived on by eating fruits by eating plants by hunting and all that being nomadic in nature nomadic is nothing but moving from one place to another they don't have a particular place they keep shifting being nomadic in nature they lived in caves and rock shelters so being nomadic is nothing but moving as i said moving from one place to another they didn't have a house like how we are living now they used to live in caves and rock shelters mountains okay caves is nothing but a mount like a small room which is actually made up of rocks they made variety of simple stone tools like scrapers knives cleavers burins and microliths from quartz and flint so these were the tools that they used which was made out of quartz which was made out of quartz quartzite and flint okay they used you can even see a picture in your textbook they used large leaves and bark of trees as clothes so back then they didn't have clothes like how we have so what they used to do to cover themselves they used large leaves and bark of trees okay as clothes fruits edible plants tubers were not available in all seasons in the last stage of paleolithic age they learned hunting fishing and food fishing for food so what they did was they couldn't survive only on uh, plants and fruits so once the, so after that they started hunting they started hunting which is like uh, they hunted for fishing and all that etc they learned to control fire they also invented fire important sites how they invented fire was by hitting two rocks by hitting two rocks you get fire okay generally the period between 5 lakh years and 12000 years ago is recognized as paleolithic age okay this is about paleolithic age now we go to the second age in the prehistoric period the second age is called mesolithic age what is it called it is called a mesolithic age this is the period between paleolithic and neolithic age so this is the period between the first and the last age hence it is called mesolithic age during this period human beings started using small tools that were more efficient than bigger ones okay so what happens in this period what instead of using big big tools they started using small tools which had much effect okay hence this period is also called as microlithic age because they started using small tools it's called micro micro meaning small these smaller tools were fixed to a wooden handle and used as spears while hunting okay they were used as spears for hunting they were also gathering wild nuts they were also used for gathering wild nuts the food was not available continuously so they gathered food because they couldn't get food continuously so they gathered food they found a way out they started rearing animals and that were wounded during hunting or rearing of rearing the offspring that were found 
during hunting so what happened was they started rearing that means growing animals they started taking care of animals okay these animals were the secured source of food for them this slowly led to animal husbandry so they started selling animals okay the mesolithic human beings roamed around in search of food for themselves and for their animals so they kept moving from one place to another in search of food and for their animals wherever they stayed they used to drop pictures on the rocks that were used as their shelters animals hide was used as their dress animals hide is nothing but animals skin was used as their dress they knew fire and its utilities they knew the importance of fire how important fire is fire was used for cooking fire is used to keep yourself warm correct okay bimbetka and adamgar and madhya pradesh brahmagiri and kanagan sorry kanagana halli of karnataka begur and ganeshwar of rajasthan birbandha birbanpur of west bengal vanpasari of andhra pradesh sarai naharai and mahad of uttar pradesh are the few important places at that age so at that point of time these were the important places mesolithic period was between 1000 to 12000 to 9000 years ago from now if you have to think okay when was this mesolithic period it is from 12000 to 9000 years back so this is about the middle age which is called mesolithic the first one is paleolithic age okay the second one was mesolithic which we just went which, which we just read about and then now the last or the final stage is neolithic age what is it called it is called neolithic age okay since the mesolithic human beings were into animal husbandry they often faced shortage of food for themselves and for their animals so these people started producing their own food during the neolithic age now since the mesolithic age human beings were into hunting were into animal husbandry okay so there was shortage there was a short of food so what they started what they wanted to discover was let's make our own food they started cultivating crops they started growing crops on the alluvial soil on the banks of a river okay they started growing crops in the alluvial is a soil which is rich in manure okay in the bank